So how's it going guys, it's Akir here back with another video and today we are going to take a look at a Walton smartphone review. It's been a while since we have looked at any Wal Walton smartphone so it's great that we are back with something really really awesome. So today we are going to take a look at the Walton GF7 which is a very great phone and we will get in details in a second. But before that if you haven't checked out the previous video then make sure to do so, it's on the top right corner of the screen. Also subscribe to the channel and um, be a part of the notification squad if you are not of that because really you are going to miss out a lot of cool contents that are going to come out on the the next few days so without much further ado i would like to get started in the video and get knowing about the Walton GF7. Well, before starting the video, I would like to thank uh, Walton Mobile for making this video possible and also Walton Mobile Silhouette for sponsoring this video and giving the product to review and show it to you guys. If you want to go and check them out, then make sure to do so. The address is on the screen right now and also it is on the description box down below. So make sure to go and check them out for any kind of queries or even if you want to buy the smartphone if you live in Silhouette. Walton GF7 is currently available in two different colors which is blue and golden and has a very simple and plain looking design and weighs around 162 grams. It has both volume keys and the power button on the right hand side, a USB port and especially 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the upper portion of the phone and the speaker on the bottom back of the phone. There is nothing too fancy about the design of the phone but although the phone uses on-screen home uh, recent and back button it has a very big chin which is a complete misuse of the space. However what I really like about these cheap phones are that they do not kill the um, headphone jack which is a very big advantage as a lot of people including me still love using 3.5 millimeter headphone jack because it's been around for years now and I really don't know who would like to not use that. The display itself is a 3.5 inch 18 is to 9 um, rate aspect ratio full view display which supports video uh, up to 1080p um, but they could have used the extra chin area for making the screen a bit bigger and giving the phone near to infinity display. The display has IPS 2.5D carved glass to give um, to give the design an extra bonus. It lets us use the future feature of always on display which is really help helpful and saves both our time and some battery percentage. And now comes the weird part about the design. The phone has a fingerprint scanner look alike button which works as a helping hand for doing stuff like taking pictures, answering phone calls and other stuff that you would like to do with one touch. I personally first took it as a fingerprint reader. It has a battery capacity of 2700 milliamp which is quite enough for a budget smartphone. Talking about the camera, it has both 5 megapixel of front and rear cameras and also has LED flashes for shooting pictures in dim light. Both the cameras has different kind of shooting modes including night and beauty mode. Talking about the operating system, out of the box the Walton GF7 comes in Android 8.1 Oreo Go edition which is a special part about GF7. The phone has a MediaTek MT67378 system chipset with a 1.23 GHz quad-core processor and a Mali-T720 GPU. It packs with a RAM of 1GB DDR3 and 8GB internal storage which is expandable up to 64GB with SD card. And last but not least, some bonus feature like dual SIM slot and both of the support, uh, both of them supporting 4G, expandable storage up to 64GB, always on display and LED lights on both sides of the phone which has really impressed me. All in all, this phone packs a lot of stuff that you that a budget phone would not and I highly recommend you checking it out. But this is basically it for today guys. I hope you have really enjoyed this video. If you did then make sure to smash the like button, subscribe for more contents like this. All my social medias including my website is in the description box down below. So make sure to go and check them out. I'll see you in the next one and take care. Goodbye. Peace.